Hi, I'm PK Newby and this is Cooking and Eating the PK Way. It is the weekend after Thanksgiving and I'll bet many of you are sick of being in the kitchen if you hosted Thanksgiving, but I did not. So I'm actually very anxious to get some cooking done this weekend because my sister in particular asked for me to send her some soups down because we were not able to spend the holiday together. So what I'm using is these beautiful little sugar pumpkins. They're very cute. Of course, all of these are from the farm market. The last day was on this past Tuesday, as you know, and we are going to cut these in half. It really doesn't need to be exact. They're just going to be roasted in the oven. Not the easiest thing to cut, but it's fine. I did it. Obviously, you all know what the inside of a pumpkin looks like. I'm sure you've carved many in your time. So I'm not going to have you watch this. It's going to get really boring. But basically, you have the seeds inside. What you're going to do is remove all of those and save them. You can toast up pumpkin seeds, and they are delicious. They make a lovely garnish on a soup or on a salad. They're very healthful, and they're very tasty. So I'm going to save them and deal with them later. But in the meantime, all I'm going to do is remove the seeds. I'm going to throw these onto a, a baking pan, 425 degrees for about 45 minutes or an hour or so. I'll show you. You'll know when it's done because the knife is just going to go in very easily. Then we'll scoop this out and use this in our soup. So I will uh, meet you back here soon when we have all this ready to go into the oven. Okay, so I've cut and cleaned my pumpkins. You can come and see them over here. We have this whole mound of seeds, which is going to be wonderful. As I said, I'm going to toast them up and use them for another purpose. But all I did was clean them out, and then I put some olive oil on this. And I'm going to put a little pepper, freshly ground pepper. And also a little salt. I think you do actually need a little bit of salt when you're roasting. I don't, I don't know how the salt shaker works, so I don't want to get too much. It looks like they're really big holes so that my mom has, so I'm going to just do it like this. Nothing too much, but again, you want to bring out the flavor when you're roasting it. So all I'm going to do is place them one, two, <laughs> three, um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm going to need a bigger cookie sheet. Uh, okay, we'll do it like this. All right then, three and one. those right in the oven. Again, this is at 425 degrees and it's going to be we'll check them out in about 45 uh, minutes or so and they're going to be wonderful. And then our stock is going to be ready and then we're going to compile the soup. And in the meantime, I'm going to do something else. So I will see you shortly. Let's see how our pumpkins are doing. They're looking good. I was mentioning that if a knife goes in really easily, you know they're done. Oh yes, definitely done. So we're just going to take those out and let them cool for our soup. Looking very good.